where the soul exists. <laughs> Men have always tried to encode secrets, military communication, love letters, forbidden knowledge. Sooner or later, most secret texts have been decoded. But among all of history's cryptic writings, one has stood out. This text has defied all attempts to unveil its secret for centuries, the Voynich Manuscript. It's the world's most mysterious book, written by an unknown author in an absolutely singular alphabet and illustrated with puzzling images. What is the secret hidden between these lines? Yet another expert has taken on the challenge. For the first time, the physical materials of the Voynich manuscript will be analyzed. Maybe ink, pigments, and parchment will offer a key to the Voynich enigma. Ah, yes. I remember when I helped tackle the Voynich Enigma, when they first uploaded it to the internet. Boy, did I go out there and download and print myself a copy. And lo and behold, when they did do all the tests, it turns out it was right there in 1425. They tested all the ink. They tested all the parchment. They tested everything. The book itself is real, but what was written on it is the mystery, is the key. Yes, I believe the person who also wrote this book was left-handed because of the smear marks that you will see. Yes, yes. It's truly an incredible piece of work. And here we go. This is how thick it is. Right there. That's all my notes. All the pictures. All the information. All the knowledge just spilled out onto the paper. All the thoughts. All the mysteries. All the questions that need to be answered are just stacked up there in a nice little pile. You know, I was going to do some politics today, you know, it being Quick's turn and all, but, uh, you know, Rundown begged me not to do any politics today because he said he has a, a, a brilliant show tomorrow. He doesn't know what's worse, uh, Bush or Obama. This is really amazing. A closer look, however, makes the manuscript appear somewhat less confusing. The drawings help to break down the book into separate sections. Yes, it does. The book is broken down into several unique sections. One would describe, like, the first section is identifying the plants. The middle sections would be, like, the bathing or the creatures. The third section would be the, I guess one would describe it, the potions. Don't worry, you'll see at the end of this film here. And then the last section, I would assume, like most books, would be a reference. It does seem, seem like the, the last portion of the book is a reference, but I'm not too sure. It could be like his journey. Or was that the beginning of the book? I'm not sure. If you go look at the Voynich, it's set up in a mysterious way. Just like how each page is written in an odd or even fashion. It's truly incredible. And then like on some pages, you know, it's like an odd number of words, but it's on an even page. Or an even number of words on an odd page. But only sometimes, there's only a very select few that they line up with odd, odd, and even, even. I always wondered what it meant. To me, I was always assuming like the alchemist, the person who was wandering out there, maybe he set up a system where like the odd even was like a poisonous and non-poisonous system because that's what I was getting from it when I was researching it. But even here, there are astonishing parallels to natural shapes. Mm -hmm. 
Some of the book's pages also contain optical phenomena. If set into a spinning motion, these illustrations come to life. What does this combination of plants and astronomical symbols mean? You know, honestly, I, I couldn't get those optical illusions to work. When I tried them out in real life, for some reason, uh, they wouldn't work. I don't know why. Maybe it's something that had to do with printing. Or maybe they were so advanced that the simulation that they wrote down on that paper could only be translated by a computer or 3D modeling techniques. It would be truly incredible if they had 3D modeling already back then. They find bits and pieces of advanced computer technology out there. So it wouldn't be so out of the question. Just like in World War II, they already had advanced photographic techniques and advanced ways to make plans. Unbel go ahead, go look at some of the advanced Nazi graphics. Those are actually from that time century. That's not Photoshop. That's not Adobe Illustrated. That, that's not any other programs from our modern time. So you tell me where they came up with that generated computer modeling for all their designs and their aircrafts. Truly uh, incredible. Just like how I believe that the Voynich manuscript, like these pages over here with the astronomical symbols and everything, I believe that they're gateways. It's a doorway letting you know the perfect time, the place for the entrance to enter this sacred realm or this mysterious place. Another uh, train of thought I've had that this is the lost city of Agartha. This is the Tian Gung in Antarctica that has been locked out from us where those scientists are exploring and excavating specimens, bodies, lost vegetation from the ancient world in the permafrost of Antarctica. Even in the great Tian Gung down there, the underground vast civilization, ancient civilization, ancient technology. It would explain the whole manuscript too, honestly, because it's true, all the plants that you see in here as you're about to witness, some of them resemble real life plants, some of them other worlds. <laughs> Some of the drawings even seem to be inspired by reality. You know, perfectly honest, this is the 100% reason why. I was interested in this book in the first place. I love everything that has to do with alchemy. All these potions, all this recipe right here. Could you imagine if you unlock the secrets? Could you imagine if you figured out what plants these were? The exact combination, the exact formula, the right amount of herbs. Who knows what mysterious supplements are right here? Who knows? What ancient elixirs lie waiting, just right here, waiting to be unlocked, waiting to be discovered, waiting to put into our body. What kind of ancient potions are these? What kind of elixirs is this? I mean, look at the supplements that Alex Jones just puts out. Could you imagine what kind of supplements these are? Just ancient human enlightenment supplements from ancient human herbs and the knowledge to combine those herbs to form such a delicious or inspiring or truly divine drink or potion or supplement, just something. You know, you always hear all those ancient mythological stories or you hear those legends of just great beings and stuff. Like, what if they were on some kind of supplement? You know, if you watch Ancient Aliens, they believe like they have that super nootropic out there. And if you take Brain Force Plus, you'll know like nootropics are the truth. In spite of all the modern technical tools that have been applied, the mysterious manuscript has not yielded its secret. Remember earlier how I was telling you about all the 
mysterious symbols and stuff like that. Oh, yes. With the evens and odd pages and saying how it was supposed to be some kind of guide to let you know between the poisonous and non-poisonous plants or vice versa. But also, throughout this book, there's also this mysterious markings or mysterious signatures. Maybe enough to add up to a sentence, because I wrote them all down and it does look like it forms some kind of sentence. It is truly incredible. What if the secrets to this book, the secrets to the entrance, is just spread out of this book. And once you unlock the secret of how to translate it, oh... The doorway is just there waiting for you once you get the keys. This is why I wish that our reality was more how it used to be before pre-40s, back in the 30s when people were explorating. People were journeying this earth, people unlocking the secrets of ancient civilizations. And now here we are, we're all trapped in our dumb bubbles. We're all kept away from the ancient knowledge, we're kept away from the ancient civilizations, the knowledge, the artifacts, the intelligence of our ancestors. It's truly a, truly a crime among humanity that we're not allowed to witness our ancestors' upbringing or anything. It's truly, they want people to believe that history starts the moment they're born. It's so disgusting. But anyway, I'm getting off track because I found these mysterious symbols right here. Yes, throughout the voyage, yes, this mysterious, it looks almost like a pie or something you would draw like back when you were a kid. Does anyone remember drawing this kind of symbol? Not the Stussy one, but this one in particular. Yes, there is something interesting about this symbol because it is on multiple pages. And people are always wondering, like, well, who wrote the Voynich Manuscript. Who was its author? Still a mystery to this day as people are perplexed by the pages, the words, the illustrations that are documented in this ancient text. But I have come up with an answer with analyzing this, but I could barely find anything on the Society of Venetian Printers. Go ahead, try to look up anything on the Society of Venetian Printers, and there's not much out there. What is this ancient secret printing society right here? Notice how this symbol almost perfectly lines, especially when you see on the last page with the line going through it where it looks like a boat where maybe someone was giving it away too much. Like, oh, I shouldn't do this outright to let them know it's part of the Society of the Venetian Printers. It's truly incredible, just like how they have this illustration here and if you pull up like the, this illustration online on some YouTube videos they'll blow it up into a th th 3D graft and it's like this underwater chasm or this underwater tunnel kind of structure what I think it is I think it's some kind of gateway to the center of the earth not so much as like to the exact center of the earth but you know like pockets within the earth where the ancient civilization Remember, we have underground bases right now, so it wouldn't be so out of the question that there is underground civilizations out there, ancient underground civilizations that just live beneath us. Truly incredible. What does this clock mean, too? Because when you look on the same page here where it kind of documents this, what I want to call like kind of center of the earth type area, maybe it's a Gartha, because remember the Nazis also found a Gartha. Maybe this is a detailed... Kind of not, not 3D printed of Agartha, but like the cave system of Agartha. But they have this strange clock. Yeah, what does it mean? This right here, when I saw this, had me thinking for a long time. Because it depicts clearly a time. And whenever there's a time, there's also a symbolism that has to do with great things like openings. Uh, doorways, gateways. Astronomical signs. Maybe it is the key to get to this ancient forbidden land. Mm -hmm.